Good morning friends. Today we have to consider the concept over capitalization. It means that in this period we have to understand what do mean by over capitalization? What is the exact meaning of over capitalization? Then what are the symptoms of over capitalization? Then how standards are fixed for valuation of shares? Then uh, we have to understand what are the effects of over capitalization? causes of overcapitalization all these aspects we have to understand then effects we have to study in detail on company on shareholders on uh, society okay and then afterward we have to understand what is the remedy for overcapitalization it means that what type of remedy we can arrange for the avoiding such type of overcapitalization all these things we have to study in this period okay now uh, overcapitalization. What is the exact meaning of overcapitalization? The phrase overcapitalization has been misunderstood as abundance of capital. But this is not correct. In actual practice, the overcapitalized concerns face shortage of capital. In true sense, overcapitalization is relative term used to denote that the business firm is not earning reasonable income on funds employed. This is very important statement. It means that whatever may be funds are employed there on those funds you should have to earn reasonable profit. You should have to earn reasonable return but it is not happening in that concern. That's why that is called overcapitalized concern. Okay. According to Bonelven, Devey, and Kelly, when a business is unable to earn fair return of return, try to understand. When a business is unable to earn a fair rate of return on its outstanding securities, try to understand business is unable to earn a fair return fair rate of return on its outstanding securities it is overcapitalized what is it it is overcapitalized as per the opinion of Justin Burr a corporation is overcapitalized when it is earning or its earnings are not large yield a fair return on the account of the stocks bonds and that have been issued okay uh, as per the opinion of Justin Burr overcapitalization is this okay thus the overcapitalization refers to that state of affairs where earning of corporation do not justify the amount of capital invested in the business it means that you have to understand there should be justification between the earning and invested capital and if there is no justification like this at that time you can say there is over capitalization in that organization okay then uh, another thing also we have to understand a business firm is said to be over capitalized when you can say your business firm is said an over capitalized such type of a symptoms you have to understand such type of the uh, some features you will find there when you can say this firm is over capitalized when you will find all these three things then you can say this firm is over capitalized what are those three things first thing is there the capitalization exceeds the real economic value of its net asset the capitalization exceeds the real economic value of its net assets. Then second thing is also there, a fair return is not realized on capitalization. A fair return is not realized on capitalization. And third thing is also there, a business has more net assets. A business has more net assets than it really needs. When these three things you will find there, at that time that business firm is said to be over capitalized. Are you getting my point? All these three things you will find in the over capitalized business firms. Okay. Then 
what are the symptoms of overcapitalization you have to understand what type of symptoms you will find it means that how you can identify this firm is overcapitalized firm it means that some symptoms are there and those symptoms we have to understand and what are those symptoms we have to study here first symptom we will find there the amount of securities outstanding exceeds the current value of the assets this is the first symptom what is it the amount of securities outstanding exceed the current value of the asset second symptom is there the earning of the company are less than the earning of the company are less than what it should have earned as a fair return of return okay as a fair rate of return on its capital then third symptom is also there the earning capacity is adversely affected this symptom is also you have to understand the earning capacity of the company of the firm is adversely affected then another symptom is also there the book value of the shares is more than the real value try to understand the book value of the shares is more than the real value and the last symptom you will find there the shares of such company are sold at discount shares of such company are sold at discount these are various types of the symptoms of the over capitalization in order to determine the existence of over capitalization comparison between different values of the equity shares is the most satisfactory criteria what is the uh, satisfactory criteria the comparison between the different values of the equity shares this is the most satisfactory criteria you have to understand then a uh, standards for valuation of shares what are the standards there are different types of the standards are there for valuation of the shares in this chart you will find four types of the standards i have mentioned first standard is there par value what is it par value par value is the face value of the shares at which they are usually sold it is static and not affected by business association thus it fails to reflect the various changes in the business condition try to understand it means that this is called par value it means that what your may be book value is there what your may be face value is there what your may be market value is there there are different types of the values but you have to understand the par value it is the face value of the shares at which they are usually sold that is called par value don't forget at all then second type of the valuation is there second standard of the valuation is there what is it market value it is determined by the factors of demand and supply in stock market it depends upon the number of things affecting the demand as well as supply side this is the second standard of the valuation of the shares then third standard for the valuation of the shares is there book value what is it book value it is calculated by dividing the average of the proper proprietary items like share capital surplus and reserves by number of outstanding shares it can also be calculated by dividing the net assets by the number of outstanding shares okay net assets are arrived by deducting current liabilities net assets are arrived by deducting the current liabilities and other non proprietary reserves from the sundry assets its result will be same in the both the cases okay try to understand then another standard is also there what is it real value real value it is found by the dividing the capitalized value of the earning by the number of outstanding shares okay earning by the number of outstanding shares before the earning before the earnings are capitalized they should be calculated on the average basis okay they should be calculated on the 
average basis the average rate of return the average rate of return is calculated by taking the average of the various rates of return in different units how it can be calculated average rate of return is calculated by taking the average rate of various rates average of the various rates of the return in different units engaged in that industry or in the line of the business in this way it is calculated okay then another thing also we have to understand uh, why over capitalization is there what are the causes of over capitalization we have to understand try to understand it means that there are different types of the causes of the over capitalization and those causes also we have to study in detail in this chart i have mentioned five causes how many causes are here five causes of the over capitalization are here and those causes we have to study step by step and then another chart is also given there in that also remaining causes are mentioned now we have to study the each and every causes of the each and every cause of the over capitalization in detail it is sometimes difficult to defect or to detect or to identify or to know the over capitalization because there are no apparent signs of it it does not show itself easily in an organization whether or not over capitalization takes place has to be decided by the financial experts on the basis of symptoms it means that with the help of these symptoms you can identify uh, where the what type of a position is there whether over capitalization is or under capitalization is or fair capitalization is there the financial manager has to have a lot of diagnostic skills to detect over capitalization and adopt suitable remedies to correct it okay now we have to understand now we have to study to analyze the causes of over capitalization it means that what are the causes of over capitalization those causes also we have to understand because prevention is better than cure and for that purpose also we have to understand why over capitalization is there and those causes also we have to study first cause is mentioned here high promotional outlay what is it high promotional outlay there is a possibility that promoters in their anxiety to give birth of the company may purchase assets for an exorbitant money consideration they may also incur heavy expenditure on associates service while forming the company similarly promoters might take over the existing concern at the inflated prices which does not bear any relation to the earning capacity of the concern try to understand under these circumstances book value of the corporation will be more than its real value try to understand what is the effect under these all circumstances you will find the book value of the corporation will be more than its real value this is the first cause then second cause we have to understand inflationary condition inflationary condition inflation is a worldwide phenomenon try to understand inflation is worldwide phenomena okay and uh, has been more common feature of the indian economic sense during the last several years try to understand due to inflationary condition a corporation might have acquire assets at high prices such company started in the times of the inflationary condition turns into over capitalized turns into over capitalized concern afterwards when the inflationary conditions subside there is a there is a uh, declining trend in the earning level of the company with the slacking the boom condition it means that inflationary condition this is the second reason second cause of the over capitalization then third cause we have to understand shortage of capital the shortage of capital is also contributory factor try to understand 
the shortage of capital is also contributory factor of the overcapitalization. The inadequacy, inadequacy may be due to the faulty drafting of the financial plan. The choosers of the capital becomes the beggars of the capital and the company has to borrow funds at exorbitant rate of the interest. As a result, the lion's share of the firm's income may be eaten away by the leaders having little income of the shareholders and will bring down the real values of the share. It means that majority share of the firm's income may be eaten away by the lenders and bring down the real value of the shares. And this is also the cause of overcapitalization. Try to understand. Then next cause is also we have to understand what is it? Defective depreciation policy. What is it? Defective depreciation policy. Many companies become overcapitalized. You'll find n number of companies become overcapitalized. Why? What is the reason? Because they don't make adequate provision for depreciation, replacement or absolution of the assets. Okay. Inadequate provision of the depreci depreciation or inadequate provision for the depreciation affect adversely the efficiency and profit yielding capacity of the company. Try to understand and it will leads to the overcapitalization. That's why this is the fourth reason of the overcapitalization. What is it? Defective depreciation policy. Then another reason also we have to understand liberal dividend policy. What is it? Liberal dividend policy. Liberal dividend policy may also contribute to the overcapitalization of the company. Try to understand. A company following two liberal dividend policy for a long period of the time is defrauded of the benefit of the retained earning. Even the essential provision may be neglected and profit may virtually be distributed out of the capital. Such companies find themselves to be overcapitalized after a few years when book value of their shares will be higher than the real value. What is the effect? when book value of their shares will be higher than the real value okay and this is also the fifth reason fifth point we have to understand about the overcapitalization then another cause also we have to understand another reason we have to understand what is it taxation policy overcapitalization of the company may also be caused due to the excessive taxation by the government okay due to the excessive taxation of the government by the government due to the higher rate of corporation taxes or due to the higher rates of corporate taxation a company's tax liability increases and is left with the small residual income for the dividend payment as well as renewals of the placement okay thus the working company the working efficiency will deteriorate resulting in the decrease of the real value of the shares it means that what is the effect definitely you will find there will be decrease in the real value of the shares it means that due to such type of a taxation policy also you will find overcapitalized position is there then another cause we have to understand issue of unwarranted sec securities. Issue of unwarranted securities. The corporation may issue unwarranted securities with a view to creating the favorable market sentiment on the stock exchange. Okay. In the process, the securities issued gets unnecessarily the securities issued gets unnecessarily inflated and the corporation is overcapitalized. That's why this is the seventh cause of the overcapitalization. The next cause we have to understand 
the underestimation of earnings. Try to understand. If the rate of earning at which the company ought to be have capitalized is higher than the rate at which the company's earnings are actually capitalized. The capitalization rate of earning is underestimated. The capitalization rate of earning is underestimated and this results into over capitalization. Try to understand. And this is the eighth cause of the over capitalization. Now next cause is also there. Or next reason is also there of the over capitalization. What is it? Formation or expansion of the inflationary period formation or expansion of the company in the inflationary period. Generally, the company started in the times of the inflationary condition turns into overcapitalized concern. Afterwards, when the inflationary conditions subside, this happens because assets which were acquired in inflatory prices or in inflated prices do they do not bear any relationship to their earning capacity try to understand and this is also the another uh, reason of the over capitalization try to understand we have to understand now the formation or expansion of inflationary period what is it the formation or expansion of the inflationary period and generally already we have studied the assets which are acquired at inflated prices do not bear any relationship to their earning capacity. That's why these are the different types of the reasons for the over capitalization. Now we have to study the, what are the effects of over capitalization. There are different types of the effects and those effects are on different sectors. For example, those effects are on company, those effects are on shareholders and those effects are on society. It means that on these three concerns also different types of the effects you will find there. Now we have to study in detail uh, effects on company. What type of effects are there on the company? First effect on the company you will find there the confidence of the investors is shaken due to the reduced earning capacity. What is the first effect? The confidence of the investors is shaken due to the reduced earning capacity. Then second effect is also there. The credit standing for the, the credit standing of the company vacants and it finds difficult to raise further capital. It means that it is very difficult to create. It is very difficult to raise further capital and that is also effect on the company. Then another effect is also there. In order to meet deficiency, in order to meet deficiency, the maintenance is starved. Okay, the maintenance is starved. Uh, the repairs and renewals are neglected. It means that such type of things are also neglected and that is also effect on the company of the overcapitalization. Then another effect is also there. The management manipulates the accounts to inflate profits and unearned dividends are sometimes paid. It means that the management manipulates the accounts. Such type of a manipulation of the accounts will there at the time of the overcapitalization for our purpose to inflate the profit and unearned dividends are sometimes paid. And that is also the effect on the company. Try to understand. Then another effect is also there on the company. The company finds difficult to pay off debt and other obligations. It means that such types of the debts and other obligations are also difficult to pay by the company. Okay, And that is also the effect on the company. Uh, in this way, the stock, the stock becomes speculative and the corporation is regarded as a financial failure. It may lead bankruptcy. This is also effect. And the another effect is also there. Such company fails to maintain its customers and cannot compete in the market. It means that uh, such company fails to maintain its customers and also such company is unable to face the competition in the market. These are the different types of the effects on the uh, company 
about the of the over capitalization now we have to study the what are the effects on shareholders there are also different types of the effects on shareholders and what are those effects those effects also we have to study step by step first effect is there on the shareholder there is uncertainty there is uncertainty of getting regular income on money invested by them whatever may be investment made by the shareholders on that investment definitely you will find the uncertainty about getting the regular income then second effect is also there the capital invested by the or uh, the capital invested by them depreciates owing the fall in the market value of the shares that's why the shares cannot be sold except at loss try to understand and this is also very big effect on the shareholders then another effect is also there the value of the share holding the value of the share holding declines simultaneously the value of the share holding declines simultaneously and this effect is also there on the shareholder another effect is also there of the over capitalization of the shareholder that is banks and other financial institutions banks and other financial institutions hesitate to lend the money against the security of the shares because uh, their capitalization is over capitalization that's why not a single financial institution or not a single financial bank is also ready to pay such type of uh, uh, finance okay then another effect is also there they are worst sufferer such type of uh, shareholders are worst sufferer in case of reorganization of the corporation in this way these are the five effects on the shareholders of the over capitalization now we have to study the effects of over capitalization on the society what type of effects are there on the society those effects also we have to study first effect is there such companies such companies increase the prices try to understand such companies increase the prices and reduce the quality of their product and such type of a low quality product society has to consume okay then another effect is also there the labor also suffers by losing their jobs try to understand laborers also suffer by losing their job in such company or they have to prefer for the wage cut and the industrial relations get spoiled try to understand then another effect is also there a bad ethical atmosphere is created in the society and depressing effect on the economy of the nation can be observed okay depressive effect on the economy of the nation can be observed try right to understand then another effect is also there it leads to misapplication and wastage of the resources of the society this is also very bad effect try right to understand on the society of the over capitalization and the last effect also we have to study here on the society the liquidation of such over capitalized company would cause irreparable damage on society irreparable it means that repair is not possible irreparable damage to the society these are the different types of the effects of the over capitalization on the society in this way we have studied the effects of the over capitalization on the company on the shareholders and on the society also now we have to understand what are the remedies for over capitalization different types of the remedies we have to arrange you have to make arrangement of such type of remedies and those remedies also we have to study in detail it means that in this chart also you will find there are half dozen remedies i have mentioned how many remedies are there half dozen six remedies are mentioned there and those remedies also we have to study step by step okay first what is it reduction in bounded debt in order to cut the over capitalization such company should reduce 
the amount of bounded indebtedness. But the redemption of debt needed additional fund, which can be procured either from the reinvestment of the earnings or from the sale of the additional shares. But the public response to the shares cannot be very encouraging due to the reduced earning position, due to non-availability of sizable earning. Such company cannot raise funds internally. Such type of a company cannot raise funds internally to pay off the bonded debts. And this is the remedy of the over. Another remedy is also, another remedy we have to understand. What is it? That remedy we have to study here. What is it? That is a, a reduction in interest rate. What is it? Reduction in interest rate. It also suggested that, it also suggested that within a view earnings position, overcapitalized concerns should slash down the burden of the fixed charges of the debt. For that matter, existing bondholders will have to made to agree the accept new bonds of the new bonds carrying out lower interest rate. Try to understand. The success of this major depends on the debentures or bondholders acceptance of new bonds with the lower rate of interest. Try to understand. Then third uh, remedy is also there, redemption of preferred stock. What is it? Redemption of preferred stock. In order to reduce the burden of the fixed charges on the overcapitalized company, it is suggested that preferred stock, it means preference shares, carrying high dividend rate should be redeemed. Such type of a preference shares should be redeemed. It means that redemption of preference shares that is also another remedy and this remedy will again be not useful such type of a remedy is not be useful because large amount of funds would be needed to reduce or to redeem the preferred stock then another remedy is also there what is it reducing par value of the shares sometimes it is suggested that the overcapitalized company should reduce the amount of the stock outstanding by reducing par value of the shares. This is nothing but reorganization of the share capital, which helps the company to re restore the real state of the affairs. However, it would not be easy to convince the shareholders in the respect. It means that this is also the fourth remedy of the overcapitalization, for the overcapitalization. Then another remedy, what is it? We have to understand reducing number of shares. By reducing the number of outstanding shares, efforts are made to correct the outward symptoms of the overcapitalization. Try to understand. Such type of symptoms we can cut. As a result of earning per share, as a result of earning per share tends to go up the same proportion. This may help to company to improve its credit position in the market. And the last remedy we have to understand, squeezing water out the capital, squeezing water out the capital. The best remedy of this uh, overcapitalization is there. The best remedy for the overcapitalization or overcapitalized business enterprise is to squeeze water out the share capital. This can be done, plow, this can be done by plugging back or flowing back the conserved earning. Sometimes the shares are new corporations. Sometimes the shares of new corporation can be given in exchange for the shares of the merging corporation. At that time also, uh, it is very liberal basis is there. In this way, in this way, these are the six types of the remedies for overcoming the over capitalization. Uh, recognition of share capitalization either by reducing number of outstanding shares or by reducing power value of the shares. Only remedy for 
are the only remedy to the problem of the overcapitalization. Of course, some of the above methods may be used, but unless the company goes through an entire reorganization, overcapitalization cannot be fully rectified. It means that reorganization you should have to follow. And then and then such type of uh, overcapitalization can be rectified. In this way, these are the half dozen remedies for the overcapitalization and those remedies also we have to understand. In this way, uh, uh, with the help of the uh, this last point, we have to stop here and if any difficulty is there, you can contact me. Definitely, I will try to solve it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.